All right, we talked to Jaden about it, but take us through from your perspective. You think you're going to catch a kickoff and he just boxes you out and then runs away? Uh, yeah. So actually, um, so like all week uh, we're preparing for that. Like we kind of knew, like you know, these past few weeks they've been kicking it, like you know, kind of all over the place. So you know, we prepare for it. And uh, actually, like when I go look on the film, you know, it was in a gray area, but I think he did have the right of way to take it. Mm. You know, but um, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't see where I was. I just was going off field, you know what I mean? And the biggest thing is just making sure you communicate. So I, I yelled, me, 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 and he didn't hear it. And I, I mean, I just kind of remember throwing my hands up like, all right. <laughs> and then I run up, and then I get, it, it's just a slow motion. I just saw him around like, no way. And then he just broke out. And then I'm just like watching him run. I'm just watching him, watching him, watching him. And I see someone coming. I think it was a kicker. I'm like, man, it is. If the kicker gets him, that this this is gonna be bad. So I just start running, and he ended up taking it taking it all the way, and I, I just was in utter belief. It was crazy. It went on his side though, didn't it? Like what? On his side of the. Yeah. So like that's what I'm saying. So like the way the, the way it is, it's like I have like my side and like the middle, you know. So like it's kind of like two on one. But like where I was at, I I couldn't really feel that. So like if you really look at it on film, like he did he did kind of have the right away. Like I said, just make sure you communicate. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't think there's no fitter, no, there's no better way for him to take the kick return than take it all, the, take it all the way to the house. So, uh, Luke mentioned and Ben mentioned as well that Ben got up in front of the team after that game and acknowledged that he didn't play his sharpest or his best ball. What does that mean for the quarterback to get in front of the team and take ownership of that? Uh, it's, it's it's tremendous. I mean, he's a great leader, man. You know, um, I think it's hard. You know, because. That guy has a bunch. Of, he has a bunch he has to do. You know, not, not just on the football field, off the field as well, with all the stuff that he hears. So, you know, just just it just shows how strong he is. You know, and I know everyone at locker room has his back. You know, what I mean, so for him to stand up there and you know acknowledge that, you know, he he's not playing his best. You know, that just makes us even more want to you know do our best for him. You know, to give him the best you know availability when we're out there. So yeah, he's he's a great guy, a tremendous leader, um, and I'm excited for him for the rest of the season. Back to the, the kick return. I saw you in the end zone afterwards just laughing hysterically. Like, what, what what's going through your mind, like, after you, you get to that point? Is it, like, hitting you? Like, he, he took that from me, and he, he actually took it to the house because uh, you, you seem like you were enjoying yourself a bit. Oh, it was. I, I said, like, it was, like, when it first happened, I'm like, bro, like, he took the kick return from me. What are you doing? You know what I mean? And, <laughs> Um, when I just got down, I'm like, there's no way. Jaden Thompson, like, all right, I can see, like, you know, he's he's a crazy athlete. Like, if we had Tyler back there and Tyler did that, I'd be like, you know, it's, you just kicked at him and that was the mistake you made. But same with Jaden, you know what I mean? He was a punt returner for a while, and there was a few times I'm like, he's going to take a punt return back. And, you know, me and Ryan are going to look at each other and be like, I don't know, man. We might need to keep him back there. But, yeah, I just saw it. And uh, when he took it back, I'm just like, no way. Like, he took one back before I did this shit. I'm like, I, I think I'm done for the year now. You know what I mean? We might go back out there this Saturday and he might see a new returner. So, you know, kudos to him. He had another one of those short area quickness, you know, when he when he broke it. it we've seen it a couple times, you know, as a, as a pass catcher. He said he doesn't have the, the speed that you and Tyler have, so he has to rely on that. Talk about his wiggle a little a little bit, his ability to, in short areas, make people miss. That's Jaden Thompson for you. I mean, he's – and that's not even just, like, short – like, you can see it, like, on his releases and stuff. I mean, the dude, you know, he might not strike you as a straight-line speed guy, obviously, as he said, but, like, you know, the releases that he has and stuff like that is so quick that it, it just – it gets you off the guard. And as soon as he's going, he gets going. So, yeah, like, he – He's tremendous with that, and like I really think I saw it in full effect this year. Cause you know we always heard about it. You know he pulled up his high school highlights and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, well that doesn't matter. You have to do it in college. And I think when he did that at USF, we kind of like, like that's the Jaden that we're. And then it's just this past week, it, he just really showed the world what, what he's capable of. So, yeah. How important was it in a game where maybe Ben wasn't his sharpest, most accurate for you and Tyler to have big yak plays that, that went for touchdowns? Oh, it was, it was super important. Um, I think, you know, people get the misconception as we need to take a shot down the field. You know, we need to throw a deep ball down the field. Well, you know, me and Tyler are talking about that all the time. Like, personally, I guess receiver, I think it's for us, we like, you know, a quick slander, you know, for an inside of screen and take it to the house. You know, it just shows what you can do. So, you know, it's huge, man. Like, I, I remember, like, the play before we, 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 we tried to um, uh, hitch and go with Tyler. I mean, 
he's wide open, you know, he just missed him a little bit. And I could just remember it was third and five. And I'm like, um, all year we've repped like screens and stuff like that. And I just know coach was like, it's going to hit, it's going to hit, it's going to hit, it's going to hit one of these games. You know what I mean? We've hit him in practice and then they've been successful. And I don't know, I just had a weird feeling. I'm like, I'm going to catch this and I'm just going to run. You know, and I did, and, and I just saw that. I'm like, all right, now it's time to put on a little speed display. So that was kind of my thought process. And like, yeah, like, you don't, we don't need to take a shot down the field. You know, not every time. You know, I mean, we can, but, you know, just those little simple things is what can be the difference in the game. There's a lot on the table for you guys in these next two games. Temple's a team that hasn't had the greatest season, and then you got Tulane in the, in the final where they're ranked and there's a lot on the line and they'll be senior night for you and others. How do you, as one of the leaders, make sure you don't overlook this Temple team and don't get your mind too ahead of yourself, you know, skipping over? Well, the scary thing about them is they're like, obviously, you know, they got they got a, a new coach and stuff like that and new coaching staff. So the scary thing about them is they're playing their best ball in November. And that's what we pride ourselves on, make sure we're playing our best ball in November. So I think they're really doing that. It's a really good team over there. Um, I'm excited to play them. You know, I actually know a few people over there, and uh, I know that like Temple's always been a, I'd say a problem for us. Even when I before I was here, you know, I, mean, I can remember uh, my senior in high school. They were undefeated, and um, they went over there and played Temple away and lost. You know, I mean, that was one of the only losses other than UCF that year. But uh, Temple's always a tough place, you know, a tough place to play, and they're, they're always a tough team. So um, I think everyone's going to be on high alert. You know, obviously knowing what we got next week, but th this week is just as important just because of how they play and who they are. So, um, yeah, everyone's going to make sure that they're focused and have a good week of practice. Coach has been pushing that just be us mantra even back into preseason. As you're getting into this year, do you find it hard to not compare things to last year, maybe the last two years? Uh, Sometimes. Um, you know, I mean, like the just be us thing, it's, you know, it's like what he says, just be us. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think sometimes people find – like, oh, the 2021 team, you know what I mean? Like, but, like, at the same time, like, that team was just, just like, we were just being us, you know what I mean? Like, that team was amazing, you know, and, and this team is as well. But I think our biggest thing is just, like, you know, like, what we're doing now, this just might be who we are. You know what I mean? Last year, you know, we, we had some games that we, you know, handled business really well, but we also had games that we had close. You know, like, we had a Tulsa, you know, goal line stand. We didn't play Tulane well. Navy, you know, on the road. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is just understanding that we aren't that team from last year, and we don't need to be. You know what I mean? We're eight and two where we are now. You know what I mean? I just think we need to understand like what we're doing now is just who we might be, and just understand that and embrace it. Your head coach was in this room before you came in. He said, "This is when the playoffs start." That was his message about what you guys have in front of you right now. How aware are you guys of the impact of these final couple of games on what? Uh, super aware. Uh, November is that month for that, you know what I mean? It's something that we've earned, put ourselves in a position to do. And, you know, um, I know we're going to take full advantage of it. Um, and the, the, the crazy thing is it's, it's going to be a it's gonna be tough. You know what I mean? We, we play two games in 11 days, basically. Um, and there's not much off time in that. So, you know, I think everyone's awareness and, you know, as we have to have a heightened awareness about what we have to do. And that starts with this week against Temple. Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we actually had a few days off after this game and, you know, just making sure that our mind's right for practice this week. You know, we'll have our normal practice schedule, normal schedule for everything. So just making sure we go up there and handle business because, like I said, it's, it's going to be a really good team. You know what I mean? And Yeah, so go handle our business and then worry about the next one. Does it feel like this offense is close to, to getting in sync? Because it, it, it seems just miss a, a deep shot by a yard or, you know, there's a drop in a, on a key third down. Or it seems like the plays have been there to be made. Does it feel like you guys are close to finding that rhythm again? Oh, definitely. Um, <clears throat> you know, it always stings when you come back and, and, and you watch film on, on, on like a Sunday. You know, obviously after the game, you see like how close one plays. Um, you know, how close one plays for a touchdown. Like the play before I scored, Tyler should have went for, I don't know, however long that was, 55-yard touchdown because we didn't complete. So, I mean, yeah, we're, we're this close. You know, we all got to be on the same page. And, you know, it's kind of been something throughout the season that, we're still trying to, you know, hammer on. And, you know, um, I think this week in particular, you know, we'll kind of, you know, just kind of get back to our basics. You know, based off what they do, you know, we're not going to put in a bunch of exotic stuff. I mean, we never really do, but it's, you know, it's just when you have a defense and 
how they play and you know stuff like that it just kind of makes it all hairy about what you want to do but um yeah i'm excited about that and yeah we, we're definitely we're definitely trying to get on the same page for sure tonight is the college football playoff reveal show you guys seem to be back in that conversation for the first time this season how curious will you be to see where you guys are if you are in the top 25 honestly i i can't recall really looking at the rankings that much this year so honestly i, I have no idea i i Honestly, didn't even. I kind of forgot that that was on today. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think our biggest thing is winning football games. So, you know, that that's that's the main thing we'll do. I mean, it's, it's obviously cool to you know be acknowledging that you know to you know, everything we get we want to earn. So if, if that's where we're gonna be tonight, pretty cool. But um, I won't put too much stock in it. And if we aren't, and you know, because like I said, we still have a game this week, and that's what we're gonna take care of. Cool. Any questions for Trey? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Trey. Thanks, Trey. Thanks, Trey. Thanks, Trey. Thank you.